Hi, welcome back to ODE and to a slightly different kind of video. Today I'm starting a new series that I'm not sure if it will continue or not and it will be called Friday Night Pen Thoughts and I think it is just to give you um, a point of the situation where I'm at at each point if that makes sense and some other thoughts about stuff and what is coming in the channel and all that. I usually stick very uh, strictly to the pens and the reviews and so on, but sometimes I get my videos a little, little bit longer because I talk about other stuff and now maybe I should make a video only talking about th that other stuff related with the channel, of course. So, the first thing that I want to bring to this video and it's not really uh, a really really a pen thing but it is about paper today um, I'm recording this today the March 12 2021 we are still here in Portugal in a lockdown we can only go out for some walks and only some stores are open some of those stores are stationary stores because it's like a part of the press freedom. We have the right to go to stores where uh, newspapers can be sold and uh, stationary stores are the kind of stores that usually sell newspapers even though they don't sell them anymore and it happens in many of those. So. Today, after I leave my, after I left my, um, my, my working from home, uh, I decided to to go to Lisbon downtown. It's usually a very crowded place, very touristic, but now it is empty, so it is one of the safest places where you can uh, now go for a walk in Lisbon. It is quite close from my home, so I went downtown and because I'm now writing something, I sometimes I like to write other stuff, not only pen related, and I'm currently working on a theatre play that I had the idea for many, many years and I never put it to paper and I finally decided to really write it. I don't... I, still don't have a deadline to end it but I'm trying to write a little bit every day and once and that will bring us to this paper once I went to that little store downtown downtown that is the little store where I bought some interesting pens that I showed you some old stuff like that Rotring 600 that I showed you recently and once I was there and I found these, uh, these notepads um, that are the ones that I used to use in school. They are from a Portuguese brand, this one, Ambar, and they are still made, but now they are different. They have different paper, this paper is very thin, they now have a stronger paper, a thicker paper, heavier. And, but I saw these ones and I thought, oh, I have to take one of those with me, just because of nostalgia. And nostalgia makes us make some purchases that we were not planning. And I bought it and he still has quite a large stock of these uh, papers because after some time they changed the paper stock to the heavier one and so this store has lots of old stock nobody wants and they are selling it at a sales price and I went there, I bought it I started writing that play that I'm working on in these papers and I found that um, I really wanted to keep writing on them and I see they are they are still on the store so I went there today to buy two extra of these uh, paper notebooks to 
keep writing on this paper. So this paper is, the, is that really fountain pen friendly. Uh, it's not the best fountain pen paper, it's not made for that, but it is decent and I like to use it and I, most of all I want to use the same paper since the beginning to the end. These were when students used to get these papers, then they went into those uh, binders and they, they were organized by themes, but now that is no longer that much used. And so let me, I will just write some stuff as I talk. And today, just for, it's not a writing thing, it's just for keeping company. Uh, I, I bought two pens today, they are two Waterman pens. This one I showed you on the, on the pens for March. This was already inked and this is the Waterman, Waterman Karen and it is a very nice pen. Let me just write here, Lisboa, which is how you write Lisbon. And today it is the... 12, 12, March, which is Marso, 2021. Um, and you can see the paper is, is quite decent. Uh, it works okay. This pen has inside, this is the Waterman Karen Coral Red with the Lamy Blue. This is a beautiful pen with a beautiful nib and the paper works quite well as I told you and just to present you the other pen that I inked since the video and it is another Waterman, it is a co-branded one from the Elf which was a, I think it still is a company, an oil company and so this is the Waterman Forum, and it has inside Caveco Paradise Blue. This pen was a pen that I got very long time ago. A friend gave it to me because it was there and used somewhere, and I think it was inked once. So I I th I didn't know that, but I put a, a cartridge of. Caveco Paradise Blue and it, uh, it came out a very dark blue so I washed the pen uh, and then I didn't wait enough time for it to dry properly and so I put the Caveco uh, cartridge again and now it's too faint but it's because of that it's still a little bit watery. So I bought this paper, it's quite thin, let me just show it to you, I'll rip the page. But there is no feathering, so it's quite good. But you can see some kind of a ghosting because uh, it's really thin. Now, I want to talk to you a, a little bit about the pens that I received lately. Uh, lately I received some Kavec pens, as I, I told you before. And just to show them to you, I have them here. This one is the green from the, the German store Heldbergs and then some from the watch brand Nomos Glashütte and there is here also in raw aluminium the chrome trimmed burgundy and a chrome trimmed black. So. These, I got these pens and I know some people are a little bit sick of Kavec videos, but I collect them and these came not because I'm a collector, uh, specifically because of that, but because I'm now working and I think that these, besides my real work that I have a salary from, um, now I've been working a lot on my website, the Kavec Madness. And Caveco Madness is a website where I try to list most information about Caveco sport pens that I can. And I'm collecting lots of information. And I found out that there 
were and are some collaboration, some co-branding of Kavec with some brands. Some brands no longer have those pens, some still have. I asked these two brands, the Heldberg store and the Nomos, if they would allow me to put their photos on the website, photos from their website on my website, and they told me, yes, you can, but we will send you pens. Um, so you can take your own photos and do whatever you want. And so I'm doing that. I still had the time to do it. So, But I will do that very, very soon. So this is something that is going there. And I want to talk about it because this Kaveco Madness is really a large project to me and I really want to address it and show it to you because I think it will be a useful collector's tool. Like there is a website, uh, an, offic an, an official site for Parker Pens and Rotring and Schiffer and Pelican. So maybe it's time to have one for Caveco Pens and I'm starting with Caveco Sport Fountain Pens only. Maybe someday I can go in a little bit further in the range. So these are two topics that I talked about, or three, the, it was the paper, then the pens that I received, and the work on the Kavec website. Now, um, I wanted just to address another thing. Recently, when I made the videos, I talked about the bock nibs, and I like something in, bock, in fine bock nibs, is that they are quite fine, but they are also springy. Um, I, it's not necessarily flexible, but they are springy and I like Bok nibs a lot. And one example of it is this uh, Netuno 1911 that I really love. And it can have some line variation with that. And it is a steel nib, a Bok steel nib. And some other example would be this amazing pen, which is the Leonardo Ficina Italiana Momento Zero Grande in sand that also has some line variation. And this nib, this bock nib is also really good. So let me just show you. This pen, this paper works well with uh, fine nibs, but when you put lots of ink on paper, it will happen that it will feather, but it will feather with some inks and not so much with others. And there is bleed through in these cases, but just to show you. And a viewer asked me, why, if I didn't have any pilot, any, sorry, any Pelican uh, M200, because they also have some fine nibs with some bounce to it. And yes, I have one. I have these, uh, the, I think this, this was a special edition at some time. I need to do my research about it. I bought it some years ago, and it is the, uh, an anthracite, I think it's how it is called, uh, demonstrator, so it is a dark, like a grey demonstrator pen, and it has a fine nib. But I have to say that this fine nib has such a heavy ink flow, and I mostly use paper that is not optimal for fountain pens, that sometimes it is too much ink on the paper. Also, at some point, uh, so I would say this is not a fine, it is more like a medium nib, and I would say that at some point the gold plating started to peel out of the nibs. So I have to say it's not kind of my perfect pen. But since I got this one, I already got the also this beautiful thing, which is the Pelican M M805, also with a fine nib, and I'm getting used to it. So maybe it is time to give an, op an, an, uh, an opportunity to the Pelican M200. So you may ask me, how do I choose the pens that I want to ink? Sometimes I remember, okay, I have this one. I didn't review it yet. Maybe I want to do it because it is fun. Uh, there are these that I already reviewed, so I don't need that for a review, but I went for it because I love this pen. I think this pen is, is great. I like it and I missed it with ink because I didn't think it for a long time. And sometimes there are there is these suggestions from viewers that say why don't you ink that pen and that will be fun about the 
something else that I want to talk about is the new coming videos. Uh, at least new coming pens that will eventually uh, bring us videos. I know this is almost invisible. It was a bad idea not to let the ink, the water dry. I will have a couple of pens coming in the next few days. I hope it was, it would be next week, but I'm not sure. I know I have a Caveco Art Sport coming. I have a Sailor pocket pen and also a Pilot, not a vintage, but a discontinued one. So I'm quite excited with that. And these are the pens that are not really, really new, uh, not recent releases. But I also have three pens that are recent releases and I'm very excited with them. One or two are the Lamy Safari. I ordered, I, I bought them from Fontoplumo. I'm waiting for them to arrive. And so I bought the new Lamy Safari Savannah Green and the Terra Red, which are the uh, special editions for 2021. And they are kind of re-releases of the first edition of the pen. And so I'm quite excited with that. But I'm also very excited with a pen that is a Leonardo. And I have here two Leonardos that I love, and they are two Leonardo Ficina Italiana Momento Zero Grande. And means it is a piston filler. I'm not that fan of piston fillers, but I really like the Leonardos because of the size. And now, Leonardo came out with the Pura collection. And the Pura collection is a collection of pens of Leonardo Ficina Italiana Momento Zero Grande that are demonstrator pens. But they are not clear demonstrator. They are a frosted demonstrator and are available in blue. I think it's called aqua in gray, grigio, and um, orange, which is arancio. Um, and I'm really, really excited with that. I ordered the black one with black trim, and I this one I ordered, I bought from Apple Boom, and I'm really excited in receiving that. I know it was kind of an, of expensive, but. I thought I already got some pens uh, free from Leonardo for review and because I like them I think it's time to spend some money and buy one from Apple Boom, one of those that I really like. And so the Grigio, the grey one, will come my way soon and I will leave links on the description below if you want to go there you can buy them at Apple Boom and I will leave also the discount code that you can use to have 10% discount on Apple Boom web store. So. It is a nice thing. Talking about Apple Boom, let's talk about pens that are living. I only have one pen that is living, my, not collection, but my current setup, which is the Parker 51 2021 edition. This one, it is already empty, clean, the converter is empty and this will be sent back to Apple Boom next week because I already made the review. There is also another pen that I may get uh, going someday but not yet because it, nothing is planned, but this one I think I will sell at some time this beautiful Parker 65 fountain pen. I used to have uh, a desire to collect them, but I think not anymore. I have a few of them and I decided to uh, try to make my collection a little smaller. And I have to say that I have a couple of these. so. Burgundy is not my favorite color, and I think this one is will be one pen to leave my collection soon. But because I talk about the Parker 51, and I uh, some moments ago I talked about future pens that will give us future videos, like the unboxing videos, there will be also mo two more versus videos using this pen, the Parker 51, and there will be the Parker 51 2021 edition versus the... Aurora Duo Cart, because also who did need so cartridge pen, it would make sense. 
and also a versus video against the this Parker 51 against the Parker 100 which I think it is one of the nicest pens Parker made recently so I'm I think it will be fun they are already recorded because the pen needs to be sent back but the, the, these videos are made and I will show it uh, soon uh, I have to schedule them uh, to in a way that I don't not repeat too much the themes of my videos. When I have unboxings, I will show the unboxings because there are stuff that I received that day. But uh, these other videos are usually pre-recorded and I manage them as I go. So these are the versus videos. Another kind of video that I think I will try and I want to talk to you a little bit about it is a video that was inspired in the videos of a YouTuber that I really enjoy. And you know him, it is Waski Squirrel. I talked about him lots of times and he has a series of videos that is called Pens in the Road. Uh, and sometimes these videos are just talking videos and he shows the surroundings, um, the places where that means something to him or that are geographically related to him and I thought that that idea is really really nice I really enjoy that and I I've been thinking of doing a similar stuff here in Lisbon however we are now stuck in this kind of confinement so it's not easy to go outside to do a very extensive recording uh, but I already made the footage, I already recorded all the footage for the first video. I still need to gather it and edit it and, I, and to check if what I recorded is usable. I didn't check it yet, so I don't know. I just um, transferred the, the files to the computer. I'm having lots of work on my real work on my profession right now, so I don't have that much time free, as I told you before. So, uh, as soon as I can, I will work on that. And those videos will, will be called Pens in Lisbon. And I want to show you a little bit of my hometown. And I want to show you not only my hometown in a way that is the touristic part of it, and it is very interesting, but I want to show it as kind of my emotional hometown. So I will show you some places that may have not that much interest for everyone, or there will be no tourists there, but they mean something to me. Some of those places are also, are, are also touristic places. I live near downtown and so some of the touristic places mean a lot to me also. But I think I want to make that and show you some of the places and let you know a little bit of how I feel Lisbon and not maybe not how Lisbon really is. I think Lisbon can have different kind of approaches if you ask some teenager that comes here uh, for like a, a weekend break, uh, they will tell you it is all party and such. But you can also have some people that come here and will say that this is kind of very sad uh, country in a way, nostalgic and that we listen to the national music, which is Fado, which is a, a song that very sad, nostalgic and so on. So I think you can have very different perceptions of what Lisbon really is. And Lisbon really is a mix of them all. And my vision may be a little bit different from some of the others that all the people talk about and you'll find on the traveling guides. So. I think that's something that will be useful or interesting, I hope. If it's not, I will end those videos and I will not do more, but I wanted at least to share one and then to ask for your opinion, because I think it would be an interesting thing. And finally, 
I want also. This video was just to use two pens and now I'm, I'm using uh, lots of them. And this is something that I usually like to do, is to make some scribbles and this way I try to get the water out to make the ink more saturated. But, okay, lots of pens around here. This is getting a mess, as usual. My final topic for today is about new videos, uh, a new video series. And I want to talk about it. And the new video series is then, is these um, Friday night pen thoughts. So the video that I'm making now, this is not really only a pen video, as I told you. It is this kind of video that I made today, where I'll show where I'm going, what I received, and my overall thoughts about this. Um, do you think these videos are interesting? Should I make more? Or do you think this is just a waste of time and I should stop? In this particular video, I would really like you to comment or at least to put the the like or the don't like uh, if you don't want to have the trouble to, to reply but leave me some um, hint of what should I do do you want me to continue these kind of videos and create a series of its own where I it may be a weekly video but sometimes it may skip weeks I'm not sure and do you think this will be useful, will be interesting, or this is just a waste of time and there is no interest in this kind of video? Please let me know because I do this for me because I enjoy it, but I also do this for you. If you didn't watch, I don't know if there was any use in doing this. So please let me know what you think. So for those that watch this video to the end, I have to thank you. And just another final thing that I want to mention. And it's this. This is a box. No, not a new pen. Uh, the, the question uh, that I wanted to, to talk about is the last topic. I didn't point it down, so note it down, so I was forgetting it. I got recently the 3,000 3, subscribers. So I thought it is more than time to make a giveaway and I really want to do it because I think it is important to give back something. I wanted to start earlier but then this confinement and we couldn't go to the post office and so on. Now I can, we are allowed to go to the post office at least and we will start some deconfinement in next Monday. So I will be free to go there. And I have this pen that I would like to give away. This is the Faber-Castell. It is the Neo Slim with the black one with rose gold trim. It is a broad, it has a broad nib. This is a pen that was sent to me by Apple Boom some time ago and he told me that I could have the pen or do whatever I wanted. So I think it is nice thing to make a giveaway. I have the pen here and used for a long time because it was or since always uh, meant to be given away, but I never did. And so I think now it's time to do it. So wait very soon for a video where I will show you how you will win this pen if you are interested in that, and it may be in a next uh, Friday Night Pen Thoughts, maybe, but it depends on your, uh, on your feedback about this video. Anyway, I will have to think, uh, think exactly how I will organize the giveaway, and this pen will be given away to one of you. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, I have to thank you again, for watching. Please provide me your feedback about these kind of videos and I will meet you soon. 
बाय